Hey guys, Josh here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get stress resolution on a laptop. So the stress resolution that I'm using is 1400 by 1050. Now, I know that that's not a mainstream stress resolution, and that's because you're limited to what you can do on a laptop. Although, here is my resolution. And then here is native resolution. Now, so as you can see, now it's like way taller. Up. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to get that. All right, so first what you're gonna wanna do is go and type in monitor settings. And you're going to want to pick whatever resolution you think you want to use, right? So I'm using 1680 by 1050. Um, so you would want to click on that for the scale and layout. Although I'm going to keep it on 1920 by 1080 just for recording purposes. Um, although, well, actually, the way that you're going to find this, oh, all right. the way that you're going to find this is you go down and you click on advanced display settings make sure that this is the monitor that you want to use um, this is my 120 hertz monitor all right so click on display adapter settings you might have to click out in order for it to show up and then click on list all models and then find your 120 hertz or 60 hertz or whatever you want to use right so I'm using um, Hmm. Oh, let me find it. All right, there, that's fine. Yeah, so it's 1680 by 1050. So press that. Press OK. And then um, you're going to want to type percent local at data percent until find Fortnite game saved config windows client game user settings if you don't already have this uh on read only or if you do have it on read only make sure that that is ticked off apply okay okay now go go into there go to edit All right and then you're gonna want to go to replace and then 1920, put it, for me it's 1680, and then 1080, or 1920 by, yeah, 1920 by 1080, put it as whatever your second number is, right? And then press replace all for both of them after each step. So 1920, 1680, replace all, and then 1080, boom, replace all. Right? And then you're going to want to press uh, file, save, right? Then you can click out of that, exit out of that. And then go into Fortnite. That's okay, although in loading screens you're gonna have a little bit of a black hole. So that is okay. Now I hope that you guys found this video useful. If so, please do be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.